Once upon a time, two inventors, Henry Smolinski and Harold Blake, had a wild idea. What if you could combine a car with a plane? Their vision led to one of the most ambitious and dangerous inventions in aviation history, the AV Mizar, better known as the Flying Pinto. The beginning in 1968, Smolinski and Blake founded Advanced Vehicle Engineers AV. Their goal was simple in theory, create a rotable aircraft. The idea was that a regular car could attach to an aircraft frame and fly like a plane, then detach and drive like a normal car. They wanted something easy enough that anyone could operate it without special training. After considering several cars, they chose the Ford Pinto, a small car introduced in the early 1970s. While the Pinto was initially popular for being economical, it already had safety concerns, including vulnerability and rear-end collisions. But the inventors pressed on, believing it was suitable for their hybrid design. The aircraft part came from a Cessna Skymaster, a small twin-boom plane. By combining the Pinto and the Skymaster's airframe, they aimed to create a flying car that could take off, fly hundreds of miles, land, detach, and drive away. The AV Mizar would theoretically use both the car engine and the aircraft engine during takeoff to shorten the required runway. Early tests in the summer of 1973, the first prototype underwent initial test flights. During one of these flights, the right wing strut failed shortly after takeoff, forcing the pilot to make an emergency landing in a field. Remarkably, no one was injured and the vehicle was driven back to the airport with its wings still attached. Despite this setback, media attention was 